I'm going to say hello to the beautiful Anne. I haven't seen you in so long, and I'm so happy to be hosting and throwing it on over to you. Over to you. Thanks, Andrea. It's good to be here, and it's good to see everyone. I am part of the Physics Blog Hop, and a couple weeks ago we used the Blue, Beauty Bloom Flower by Brenda Pinnock. And this flower die, um, I had made a little ring, so maybe you can see that. It is actually fabric, and it is about 25 layers of fabric to give it that really fullness and fluffiness. And if you check out the blog hop, you can see almost 60 designers' projects throughout the blog hop. It's really cool. So you can see what everybody does with everything. Well, since I own this dye, I thought I needed to try something else. And since it's winter here in Minnesota, I thought I would take some fleece. If you can see here, you can see all the layers of the fleece. And I made flowers for little earmuffs for little girls. And you can put it on hats or scarves, anything you want. So I'm going to go over to my demo cam, and I have to shut the sound off on this one and turn that on. So it'll take just a minute and show you how to make it. So this is the flower that I'm going to show you how to make. And if you're familiar with Sizzix dyes at all, you use the two plates, the Sizzix die. Now when I cut fabric from this or paper, you can do like six layers. But with the fleece, I use two layers. And you place it onto the die, onto the, the plate, and you sandwich it in between. And then you put it through the machine. I don't have enough room here to do that. But you put it through the machine, and when it comes out, you have all of these beautiful petals. So I did these two different ways. On um, some of them I took and I sewed and I pinched them up as I was sewing. I'm going to show you that method. And then this one is doesn't look as full. I just took eight layers and just sewed right through it. It was quicker and easier, but I really like the look of sewing it with the little cinching better. So what I did was just take needle and thread, and I worked with two of the petals at a time. And I lined them up so that it showed six petals. This one has three petals and three, so I lined it up so it looks like it's a full flower with all the petals. And what I did, let me see if I can come close enough, was I sewed and I kind of did a little running stitch. And then I would come to where the end is there. I would come out and give it a pull to give it so it pops up a little bit. And I'd bring it back down. So these are quick and easy to make, and they look really nice on earmuffs. They would look great on felt hats or fleece hats and scarves. And you could use the little tiny flowers to put it on even the little gloves or mittens for little kids. So since flowers are such a hot item right now, I um, thought this was a perfect way to use up all the extra fleece. I have a daughter that makes a lot of the fleece blankets. So we have lots of little pieces of fleece left. And instead of throwing them away, I thought it was perfect to make the little flowers. So to do these flowers, I sew one layer together, and then I just kind of stagger a couple more flowers on there. And you can stagger it with different colors, like if I'm going to put this on a black hat, I could add black. And I just continue cinching until I get it the thickness I want. I used six petals, and then I took two of the little tiny petals, because this die comes with four different 
little flowers and then I take one of the little tiny ones and finish it off in that way. I can show you here is a green one that I did on a black headband and it has the two green and then it has two black ones and then the two green and then I just put the little tiny flowers there in the center. So you just sew them together and sew them on to whatever item you want. And they're quick and easy and they'd make great gifts for little girls or even teenage little girls. So you can just do whatever color combinations you want. And if you look at these two pink ones, if you can see them both, they're the same fabric, but with this one I added the white felt in there, and in this one it's all the pink.